Well, welcome back to Attila, Total War, Hun Invasion. I forget what video this is now, 2021, 20, something like that. Um, this is the one where we're attacking... This is the most tricky one of the two, actually, I think. This is the one where we're attacking the... Um, uh, is it the Danes, this one? There are the Danes and the Jutes, aren't there? No, this one is the one where we're attacking the Jutes. That's right, because I've formed up on the left-hand side here. The left-hand side is where I think his uh, relieving army is going to come on. Can't, I can't know about that, but I think that's the case. We're next to the sea, which is over here somewhere. I had a choice of either snow or... Um, what was it? Snow or fog, I think. So I think I've ended up with snowy fog or something. I don't know. Anyway, I chose fog because I thought fog would be better than snow, but I'm not convinced. But um, These two here, I'm going to... In fact, no, let, let's form those into a group as well. Everybody else is in a group. They should be, shouldn't they? So I've got them on flaming round, I hope. Yeah, and I've taken them off. Um, I've disabled that. So I suppose these should be in a group as well, shouldn't they? Might as well. I thought I'd done all this. Sorry about that. But anyway, there you go. Put them in there and I've taken off. Um, no, I've left them on uh, fire at will, just in case any, anybody gets too close to those onagers. I suspect he might come out and attack me. Um, I've got reinforcements coming on, they're way over here, but there's hardly anything in the reinforcements anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. I really just want to be over this side, so that when his reinforcements come on, we can do something about it. Now, it looks like he might try and attack from there. It's poor visibility, by the way, when you do it. Oh, hang on, what's that? Reinforcing troops, and not a moment too soon. Right. Well, they've suddenly appeared there. Oh, and now they've vanished. Uh, right. Okay, can't do anything about that anyway. I'm just waiting for him to appear. We'll see what he does, won't we? But um, this is not going to be much fun to watch this battle, is it? It's going to be like this the whole time. Um, so I'm not even going to film this one really that there just doesn't seem any point really on putting this on video so i'm going to go there and, and catch these as they land which i think will be the best way to deal with it all oh hang on i've just seen his uh, reinforcements come on over there so okay i'm going to deal with all of this and then we'll go on and do the other battle because i might get better weather well i think you can see there's some pretty amazing results for my cavalry in that one 104 for one unit, didn't lose a great deal. 89 for another one. Uh, some chevrons thrown around there, a couple of chevrons, one, two in various places. Um, uh, there's one unit uh, that did very poorly. I don't know if you can find it, it's an archer unit up there. Suffered very, very badly. Um, I, I don't know, maybe it's that one with 17 kills and lost a load, I don't know. But um, Oh no, there it is. One. Killed one, lost loads and loads of men. That was really, really unfair because um, I targeted them against one of his units um, and uh, and then his unit disappeared. So my unit stopped moving. So I thought, hang on, where's he gone? So I moved my, uh, my cavalry, I could see exactly what was going on, to where his unit was. I just moved him there, you know, I was thinking, right, okay, we're going to go for it. Um, and then just at the point where he was getting to where he was supposed to be going, his other unit, like a general's unit or whatever, suddenly appeared in his path and of course he was on skirmish order only was caught completely out i couldn't get him out of it i couldn't rescue him i couldn't get him to run away i couldn't get him to do anything so he was just totally destroyed almost you know it's th that kind of thing is really really unfair and of course it's foggy as well i had no chance for really anyway 102 lost 583 remaining so it's pretty damn good but it's still you know, I mean, if we call that 600 and that 100, it's still a 6, isn't it? You know, which is 18% losses, probably slightly more. 20% losses, it's not good, is it? Um, but anyway, this is the best I could manage under those circumstances. I can subjugate. Ha! Huh. Now, this is where I could do with knowing whether subjugation is a good idea or not. See, so unit replenishment would be, um, I don't know, 6%. Um, this faction will become your puppet state. Well, that's what it says. But they're not puppet states at all, are they? They could just turn on me. Um, or I could sack them. Maybe I should sack them this time and then go in next time and raise them, just walk in and raise them to the ground. Maybe that's the way and I'll get loads and loads of money. Uh, it's not good for, well, provincial instability. Do I care about that? I don't think I do. Um, raise to the ground. 
that's the one I'd most like to do. But what I'm going to do for this turn is I'm just going to sack them, take loads of money, and I'm going to go in next time. Destination the Okay. Legions, dupes, commanding garrison army, noble enemy spawn. Yep. Enemy killed in battle. Uh, right. Okay. What's that? Okay. That's my Warriors points all. for winning the battle, I think. Children of the Larch gain something. Do I go for food? I'm alright for food now. I've split up my hordes, aren't I? So perhaps food isn't the best thing to go for. Authority, battle, movement, speed. All sounds good. Fatigue rate. Uh, that could be good. It was bad in that last battle. Charge bonus plus four. Recruitment cost minus six. Sacking income. I don't know. This isn't complete yet. Uh, next turn, campaign movement range, 20%. Melee attack plus six. Definitely want that one. 20% commercial buildings. Um, I can do with growth more than anything else. Missile attack rate. Oh, I'm going to go for that one. Yeah. Okay. And um, can he go into a yurt? Come yes, he can. Share my Excellent. And he should get just minus 15. And yes, he does. And if the other two units were there, that would be another minus 30 on top of that. So he would be standing at uh, naught. So he'd be just about getting away with it, wouldn't he, if the other units were there, if the other hordes were there, rather. So, um, I, I don't know, did anybody get wiped out? Is there anybody I need to replenish or do anything with? These are very low now, aren't they? See, hang on, I thought I put them into yurts. Right, OK, it's going to take him eight turns to replenish. Um, the others aren't so bad, are they? But I can't see us going into an action a vicious action in the short term really so I think we should be okay uh, yeah already dealt with him I well this is the big battle isn't it now it's this one now he's hardly got any men in there but he's got this massive fortifications around the place and I just don't really know what to do about them I'm tempted to wait until the winter's over and gain another couple of um, uh, well, I don't know another couple Ready of these for the these um, uh, onigers. Maybe I could recruit other troops in here. No, I can't. No, I can't do that. No, forget that. Okay, well the next attack then is against the Danes. I must admit, if I've got movement left, what I like of just walking in and taking that now. <laughs> if it would let me do that. Well, you know, I could simply walk in now. That would be a bit ridiculous, wouldn't it? But anyway, I could do that. I'll have to think about that, but for now, anyway, it's going to be this attack. So I'm up to eight minutes on this video now. Um, basically faffing about, I suppose, but I couldn't show that last battle. Fog and in snow and him attacking me from four different places at once, coming out of the town, coming from around the back and troops vanishing and then, you know, all those coming in off the sea and there's, oh dear. It was bitty all over the place. My onigas didn't even get into it because there was no point. Because um, I, I couldn't attack his um, uh, his towers because I couldn't get near enough to them. He just kept attacking me all over from every angle at once. It's a good job I've got a very, very fluid force and that I can press the pause button and get them in position. So, anyway, this one's next. Back in a second, folks. Okay, here's my uh, second video. What do I do with this lot? This is massive. This is so well defended, it's unreal. Um, I really don't know where to go. Uh, I know he's got ships, but I think I might be better off attacking... Oh, mind you. Crikey. Um, what's he got there? Blimey, I'd even have to fight my way up... Oh, dear. How do I get to this guy? Right, over here there's one tower. Yep. So there's one tower there, and then there's another tower over there. How effective is that? Does it show me? Yeah. It reaches all the way over here and all the way around there. Okay, so there's that tower, and there's... 
can't knock the wall down. I've got to go for a gate. I'm pretty sure. Um, so there's that tower as well. So there's two towers to get through to there. And then there's... Is there a tower? There are no towers there, are there? But where's the gate? Right, okay. Um, oh, damn. I'm going to lose a lot of men doing this, I think. No gate there. No gate there. Where's the gate? Oh, there's the gate. Right, there's a gate there with two towers. So I'd have to go through two towers there. Um, and he's bound to hide his troops up there, isn't he? Well, can I use my onagers to destroy that and get all the way up there? I don't think so. Uh, maybe there's another way. Is there a gate round here? Okay, that looks like it might be a way in. I can get in from the sea, it looks. Right, okay, so I could get round there, but then I suppose the towers from over the other side will be able to shoot to here. Yeah, they will. So whichever way I go, see I've got them from there, haven't I? So I've got this tower to cope with, if I go on the seaward side. And I've got, is there another one round here? Oh, it's miles away around there. I can't go around there. Um, I don't know how to even get around there. Uh, look, no, it's all boarded off there, isn't it? Okay, mind you, if I get around there, if I can beat that down, okay, then go through here. Right, well, he wouldn't be able to reach me. They won't be able to reach, rather. I don't think they can reach. Now, then I get this one. Oh, no. No, they're from this tower. Yeah, OK, so we're all right through there. So once I take down those two towers, we can go through here. Once we're through here... Ah, now this could be a plan. Yeah, once we're through there, what have we got to cope with then? We've then got... this area to get through, so we'd have to break that down. And is there another tower that can hit us? Yes. It's there. And that will prevent us getting through there, won't it? So I'd have to take that tower down as well. So that would be three towers and a gate. Uh, there's no way through there, is there? Okay, so that would be three towers and a gate to get through there. Um, and that's the one that could shoot at me from over there, isn't it? Okay, so that would be three towers and a gate, or it would be this one. Yeah. No, not that one. This way would be... Um, oh, blimey. This one would be where? It would be... There. Two towers, plus then that tower, making three towers. Yeah. And then there's that one. That would be four towers and a gate. So I want three towers and a gate, don't I, really? Okay. Um, instead of four towers and a gate. Y basically because I I'm pretty sure he's going to have his best troops all the way up there, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I can't see it going that way. Okay, right, so we're going to go this way. Um... A little bit of luck, he might bring his ships over this way as well. And if he does, then we can... Yeah, okay. If he brings his ships over, we should be able to just charge them as they're coming off the ship, shouldn't we? Because he's only got, what, three, hasn't he, or something. Right, okay, how far can he reach with his... Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, okay. Um, ah! Right, uh, yeah. Right, okay, let's get these then. Just, I think, here. Hey? Eh? 
a little bit further forward. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to get into position and I'll bring you back in. 15 minutes into the video already. Back in a second, folks. Okay, I um, think I've got everybody in position. Uh, on it goes to the front, so we can destroy those um, those towers there. Um, archers just behind them. I will march them forward if necessary. Plenty of archers around as well um, to do what I need them to do. Plus melee cavalry. I think we've got enough to deal with this, so let's go for it. Reinforcements are on the way. It'll be anything after the onagers that will be the reinforcements. Um, no idea where his um, his ships are going to go, but it looks like they're right off to my left flank at the moment. So nothing's happening, so, which means that I can use these then to destroy the first towers, which is exactly what I wanted to do anyway, so that's good. Those to there, and whoops, and him to there. We will crush the enemy with our greater numbers. Okay. Oh, gone straight away. Excellent. Uh, right, struggling a bit with that one for some reason. So maybe we should give that one just a little bit of help then. Right, okay, well let's find out where my uh, reinforcements are going to go. I think there's only two of them. So they can perhaps attack, take out the um, anybody that lands over there. Oh, looks like he might be as well actually. That should be good. Right, okay, get those two up there. Um, might have to run them, don't think I will. Let's pinch a couple from here though as well, shall we? Perhaps those two, and one of these. Yep, that should be good. Over, also over, say, to here, to help out. Uh, what's he got in there? Yeah, these can just be taken out by normal um, horse. Those, are they firing? Ah, that's interesting. firing. Damn. Which means we might need to do something about them. I'm not sure what their range is, but they could hurt me. I didn't know we were close enough to be hit by people like that, but we obviously are. Right, okay, um, I'm not sure where they come into range. The range is there. I think that's them shooting me, isn't it, from there? Damn. Right, okay, so what have we done here now then, so far? Let's get one of them on the gate. Okay, and then the other one, I might just have to waste a few... Oh, we can't reach. It's interesting. Well, if we can't reach him, he can't reach us, surely. So, something weird's going on there. Aha! Right, okay then, guys. I think we put you on... Uh, what do we put you on? Uh, heavy shot and skirmish order. And we get you to take those out there. Okay. Do we get any more? I could have thought we got another one out other than that. Their gates are no more than firewood now! Okay, I'm hoping the heavy shot will take those out. He's only got 25 out of 25 there, hasn't he? So I don't know why we're not actually sorting him out. Hmm. We're just going to have to charge him, I'm afraid. Okay, let's see what's happening here, because there seems to be somebody close here. Ah, okay, that's destroyed. So what have we got there now? We've got 56, and we've got 56 up there as well. So I think I might just have to give one of these over to... No, we can't, can we? Okay, um, these guys here are going to have to come back. Okay. Right, let him deal with that. Now, let's bring the archers over. Archers on to heavy shot. Shooting at there, I think. 
And then archers on heavy shot, shooting at there. And then archers on heavy shot, shooting at there. Right, okay. Um, I really don't know what he's doing. But what I do know is we need to move back from this position. Hey. Okay. Well, if he's going to come that close there, I think maybe it's worth shooting at them. With our heavy shot, maybe? Oh, maybe we'll go with fire arrows. Flaming shot, why not? Yeah, we might, we might, might be able to set it on fire. I <laughs> lost my tongue then. Right, okay, so he had three landing, and then he had four inside here. So we haven't got too many to take out, have we, really? So he should now be taking him out, is he? 50 out of 56. And that is 53 out of 56. Okay, and he's dealing with him, is he? Main thing is to take out the spearmen. In fact, I'm going to get them all on the spearmen. Yeah, everybody else we can deal with at a later date, I think. Right, okay, we've got him on fire, yeah? 20 out of 20. Melee infantry. Okay, so we want standard shot now, and we want no, we don't. We want heavy shot, and we want them to be on skirmish mode, and we want to hit those. Okay, good. We should be able to wipe those out, shouldn't we? I think. Right, the spearmen gone yet? Um, Twenty-three out of fifty-six. Uh, oh, looks like they've gone. The light skirmisher cavalry. He only had four units, so I think that is the final unit. So he's got, in here, he's got, what, uh, 48? In there, he's got 23. That's 60, uh, 70, actually, because he's got two. 70, plus that is um, 126. So 126, let's see what he's got on there. 135. Yeah, so that's the last unit, that one there. If I take that one out, that's the end of him. In fact, he's not going down, is he? 12 out of 20, he should go. Battle well, I'll have to take him out then, I'm afraid. Okay, I'll just walk him round. No need to exhaust him, is there? It's an easier battle to do this one, because you can see exactly what's going on, you know the way ahead. Right, okay, well, I haven't got any archers or any sort of missile troops that are going to affect me here. So we should simply be able to wipe him out. If I had a bit of sense, I'd use something that's good at capturing things. Instead of that, what did I use? Oh, the general. Blimey, I didn't realise I was using the general. Uh, right, okay, general. Let's hope you captured somebody then. Right, okay, are you gone yet? 18 out of 56. Uh, he's run out of ammunition. Oh dear. Blimey, he's lost loads of men. Why? I can only think it was that Onager from the ship that was doing that. And he's oh. finished as well, isn't he? Oh! He's gone. 16 out of whatever there now. Okay, we're going to have to um, chase that through now, because... Um, where are we? One, two, three. Attack there. Yeah, and then one, two, three, yeah, where's he gone? Yeah, attack, there. Okay, good. Right, well that should completely wipe those out now. And these guys here are going to have to stop shooting at any minute. Oh, they can't anyway anymore. They, all archers have exhausted all their uh, ammunition now, all their arrows. So 29 out of 56. What happened there? Was that his onager that did that? I lost loads of men in this. 558 from 627, so that's 42, 69. I've lost 69. So that can only be those Onigas, can't it? That Oniga from that ship. That was very effective. 
Damn. Okay, they should pretty easily wipe him out, shouldn't they? Okay, once we've chased those away... Okay. Good. Right, now... Enemy units have been rallied! Enemy units have been rallied? What? Oh no, don't tell me it's these over here. He's got 5 out of 28 skirmisher cavalry. He's going to go and hide them somewhere, isn't he? That's ridiculous. Right, okay, um, we've taken everybody out there. So, is there anything that... Uh, he's, is, is there anything hiding him here? That's the thing. Is he under cover of any... Uh, tower? Yes. No, they're all mine. They're all mine. I don't think he's got anything in there that can reach me. Okay then. So I have these guys over here. Ready to start attacking when the occasion comes. And then these here can come up into position um, say, around here somewhere. Okay, now the reason behind that is that... See, this is where we need more ammunition, isn't it, really, for our arrows, but... You know, we haven't got it, so there you go. Right, if I pull those forward just a little bit of there, then that should give me the kind of missile troops I need to be able to take him out. I just don't understand why he isn't hiding under the cover of some tower or something. In fact, I can't even see any towers that could cover him from there. It's just such a shame, isn't it? I haven't got any um, any archers left. But then he knows that, doesn't he? Right, okay, this is where his uh, rangers come in. And looking down, I can see only my range covering across there. Nothing else seems to be threatened at all. Which is uh, rather nice, isn't it? I wonder, actually, if I can bring in my horse. Uh, put them all on... Oh, blimey, what's that all about? Are they all on different ones? Is that what it is? Let's have a look. Yeah, let's get them on heavy shot. And heavy shot. And heavy shot. And heavy shot. I think it's because some of them are not on heavy shot, you see. That's the thing. Um, what's happening with him? Oh, it's because he's run out. That's why I couldn't do it. Aha. Right, okay. Well, I'll get him to do some work on those guys. Now, hopefully they can stay outside any enemy sort of firing ranges. Can't see any in there. But, um, in fact, maybe I'll just bring them up to here. Okay, it's probably best, isn't it? It's going to take ages to get those onagers in position anyway, isn't it? So, yeah, at least we've got something then that can shoot at him. We? Oh, in fact, there's him as well, but no, I'm not going to worry about him. Okay, yeah, it was just that onager coming in from the side there that did all that... Uh, uh, created all that pain. I don't understand why we couldn't hit him back. I wonder if it's something to do with the hillside that we couldn't shoot over. I, I really don't know, but anyhow, such is life. These aren't actually still under attack, are they, from anywhere? I don't think so, but I'm going to move them back anyway, just to be absolutely certain. He didn't move. So he should be able to see. I don't think he lost any anybody. Looking around, I can't see any casualties, but maybe they, um, you know, it doesn't show the actual losses. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? Okay. Now, the main reason for bringing over those onagers is that um, if 
um, he retires to the safety of one of these towers then we're going to be able to um, uh, take out the tower as well because I only need to take that tower out and I can chase him all the way up to there couldn't I okay that must be his general I would have thought oh it says warlord doesn't it ring Nordic warlord heavy melee infantry Okay, I might just speed that up just a little bit. Because we need to... Uh, well, we're at 30 minutes already. These are the Danes. Um, I, they've got two territories of the Danes, so I don't think I'm going to be able to subjugate. So it's all going to be a case of just um, uh, destroying them on this turn. Then I'll go back and have a look at the Jutes, just to see what I can do with them. I have a feeling the Jutes can be... Um, uh, uh, well, I know the Jutes could be subjugated last turn. It's whether I want to. So what I want to do really is have a look at the Jutes after this and just see where their allegiances lie once the Danes are completely destroyed. Uh, it's these guys, isn't it? It's nice that they've got the extra battle speed because they are going to be able to get there a little bit quicker. Uh, and they're all... Actually, it shows standard shot on there. Why is it showing standard shot? should be heavy shot that's heavy shot I don't know maybe I only did well obviously I only did one of them all oh, right okay they're not in range of anyone hmm. okay 55 uh, not sure that's going to work actually 54. It's going to take a long time to get those down, isn't it? Maybe I should have dismounted them first. 48. I do think, though, we're going to be able to finish those. So I'm going to risk this and take these out now. I might be able to wipe them out. See, if I defeat those and the others haven't rallied, that would be it. halt button for after this goes in. Do you know, I think the archers could have finished it. I don't think I needed these at all. A glorious victory oh, victory and battle. Excellent. Done. Whew. Right, and battle. Yeah, it's quite handy knowing exactly how many men he has left, even though he's got hidden men. That kind of makes up for it. Uh, right, I lost 69 men in that, and he lost 236. That wasn't good. Um, I don't know who killed what. Nothing in here. It'll be those onigas from the ships. I'm absolutely convinced about it. Anyway, look, there's no point in just watching this counter go up, so I'll... Uh, in fact, look, those onigas, it looks like they killed no one, even though they destroyed the towers and destroyed the gates. That's a shame, isn't it? Um, and it looks like those spearmen, I don't know if they've lost it in this particular battle or not, I really don't know, but it looks like they took a bit of a hammering. But having said that, don't use the spearmen very often anyway. They're just there as a last-ditch thing to support the onig onigas. So I don't think that was too much of a problem. Archers, not bad. Um, lost, I would say they've lost about... Um, uh, two thirds of one unit and then little bits of others so two thirds is what what let's call it 40 men 45 maybe 50 anyway total up the losses that's uh, or the gains rather 58 68 75 so they've done better even though they've had the onigas onigas against them sorry 
Right, okay, 18, 15, 40, 11, blah de blah, um, 26, 19. Yeah, all a pretty good account. And of course, the ones that, that will have done the best will be those that came on as reinforcements, which we're not looking at at the moment because they're not actually visible, are they? So, oh, he's still got 30 remaining. How did that happen? How did he get 30 away? Hmm. I don't think he's actually got 30 away. We've won the battle, so we're going to occupy the place. And of course, once we've occupied the place, then, um, well, then everybody dies, don't they? You know, I think. Uh, general, or, you see, looking there, I wonder if it's... Yeah, actually, he could have about five or so of those horse left. And if he's got, um, say, 25 of those... Um, uh, the, the general's unit there, then that could be the 30, couldn't it? Oh, I suppose it could. Uh, yeah. I've only got 558 remaining. Right, and he deployed 266. I don't have a lot of men, do I? It's because my units, they're a little bit depleted, but they're, sh they're smaller because they're, they're horse units. So I think my numbers are always going to seem small when you actually total up the amount of men. It's the effectiveness of those men that makes such a massive difference, isn't it? So battle duration 18 minutes, 23 seconds. It shouldn't have even been that long. I don't think I even needed a pause in that, did I really? Because it was all pretty clear cut, really. I suppose I could keep away from coastlines, keep away from onagers and things like that, but it, I think it would have been worse. We'd have had to fort through towers, and he would have landed in the fort and reinforced the fort as well. So no, I, d I think we were better off um, where we were on reflection, really. So okay, let's see what we can do now. Yeah, that's all we can do. We can raise it to the ground, or we can sack it. I'll get loads of money if we sack it. Do I sack it and then walk in next turn and raise it next turn? Tempting, isn't it? Because then we can take it twice. It is tempting. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to sack it and then raise it next turn. Which I think is what I decided to do with the Dukes, isn't it? Uh, sack. For 2,343. Um, integrity penalty. Plunder. Uh, I don't know. I could raise it and get 820 odd and just destroy it now, couldn't I? Fertility will deteriorate for three turns. Am I really bothered about that? I don't think so. Let's sack it and take money. On the move, lads! Okay. Presumably, that allowed me to improve my numbers, did it? I don't know. Did it actually? swell my ranks at all. Ready for action! Not from what I can see. I could just walk in and take it again now. And I can do that. Ready for battle. If I take those out and oh no. No chance. Um hmm. Come, sit. That's tempting, isn't fire. it? I could raise them this turn. The trouble is, if I do that, I might not then gain the advantage of being able to do this. And that is something I'm going to benefit from. Because it will protect me, um, and it will help with money and food and all kinds of things. Now, the other big issue is this one here. What do I do now? I need to find out about the Jutes. Anyway, I'll do all that off camera. I need to find out, you know, so what the relationship is for the Jutes to the Danes and then think about what I'm going to do from there. Okay, thanks for watching folks. So, it looks like the Jutes and Danes are going to be out of it one way or another.